bringing old ships to life. On March the 31st, 1914, the steamer SS Porsche would sight the SS Southern Cross, a sighting which would be the last time anyone would have a glimpse of the ship. The SS Southern Cross was originally built as the Pollux in September 1886 in Arendel, Norway, as a free mast whaling schooner. She measured 44.7 meters long and 9.4 meters wide, and she would have had a draft of 5.4 meters and was around. 420 gross tons. Pollux would have an uneventful life and would go on to serve a 12 year long career before she was sold to a British publisher in 1898 to be used as an Antarctic research ship, being renamed the SS Southern Cross. The ship had to be in desirable condition to sail to the Arctic and her new owners would retrofit the ship with an auxiliary steam engine, making her capable of traveling through calm seas. Setting out on her first expedition in December 1898, where she would make marine history breaking through the Greta ice barrier into the previously unknown Ross Sea. In 1900 she would be charted by Bain Johnston and Co. of Newfoundland for their annual seal hunt. Southern Cross would return from her maiden hunt with over 26,000 pelts and would continue to be charted out for these annual hunts. Around mid-March 1914, the Southern Cross and her fleet mate the SS Newfoundland set out on another seal hunt, and the ships were expected to return by early April. Before this voyage, Bain, Johnston and Co would remove the wireless equipment from both ships, and the reasoning was said to have been unnecessary expenses. This would have the ships use lamps to signal other ships. Their annual hunt was like any other, and both ships would reel large hulls of seals, and be attempting to make their way back to Newfoundland. Around late March, the Southern Cross would make steam back to port. However, because her wireless was removed prior to the voyage, no one knew of the ship's whereabouts, and unbeknownst to the crew, a storm was creeping behind them. At around 11 in the morning on March the 31st, the SS Porsche was fighting through a storm when she would encounter the Southern Cross. The crew reported seeing the ship dangerously low in the water, seemingly heading to Cape Race. She would later transmit this message to the coast. The Southern Cross, returning from a successful hunt and an overload of seal pelts. It was believed that the pelts had formed a layer on the main deck, which prevented water from entering into the ship, and instead the seawater would flood the main deck, making her more top-heavy as she rolled in the storm. It is believed that a large number of pelts shifted and would capsize the ship. The vessel not having any wireless equipment wouldn't be able to call a distress signal, and 
173 sailors would perish. This tragedy would be the worst sinking in Newfoundland's sailing history. In 1915, the government would hold an inquiry to examine the causes of what was quoted to be the 1914 sailing disaster. The court found three people guilty, putting men in danger through harsh weather, as well as the removal of wireless equipment. In 1916, the government would sign new laws, which would prohibit the hunting of seals during dark hours. The requirement for all ships to carry wireless equipment and made it illegal for any returning ships carrying more than 35,000 pelts. And that is the end of a video. Did you guys enjoy it? I certainly loved making it. Uh, the story of the SS Southern Cross is quite a mysterious one. And when I found out about her, I was like, I got to make a video about it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I quickly want to take a moment to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you guys all very much. I would not be here without you guys. So again, thank you very much. If you have any comments or thoughts on this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. I love reading your guys' comments. So again, if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. I read and reply to each and every one of them. And if you have any friends who like ocean liners or ships, please show them my channel. That would help out very much. And yeah, so without, with that out of the way, I wish you all a good night or day wherever you are and we will see each other on the next video. Goodbye. Follow old shipping lines on social media. Thanks for watching.